Hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we're going to be cooking some butternut squash soup. This is a butternut squash, and it is delicious in its soup form. So here are the ingredients you'll need. So if you can hear in the background, we're listening to some Ray Charles. But this is essentially what you need. Two carrots, one sweet potato, one onion, um, or butternut squash and some garlic and then I'm also using a peeler a knife and a spoon which isn't laid out and then we'll be using some salt and pepper maybe some cinnamon and uh, some olive oil okay so it's time to cut and peel and prep our veggies Okay, so I chopped up all my veggies, pretty much all about the same size. And then I added six cups of uh, water, but just enough so that the veggies are floating in. So depending how much veggie you have, you might have to add a little bit more or less, depending on how thick you want your soup to. You could always add more water at the end. Um, and then I put, uh, well, I was using not fully made broth, just the powder, so I added six teaspoons of that, some salt, pepper, and then some cinnamon, which I like to add to the soup. Okay, so the veg has been cooking. It's passing, for the most part, the, uh, my trusty fork trick. <laughs> so I think we're ready to blend this baby up. Okay, so one of my favorite kitchen tools is a vitamin. But if I'm making soup, I like to use the portable blender, like the stick blender that you kind of just plug in and it pushes around the pot and you can blend that way in the pot and you don't actually have to transfer it in the blender. That's at my boyfriend, so we're going to use the vitamin. Okay, so now our soup is all pureed. At this point, you can taste it, add some cinnamon, which I think I'll do because I tend to like that extra dash. And then you can add some extra salt or pepper. So we're going to plate it and do one of those cheesy first bites. Okay, so soup, cheesy first bite. Never know where to look at this camera. Mmm, delicious. So, let me know what you think. And if you add any coconut butter, or what am I saying? Coconut milk. Or if you added the cinnamon. Or if you can think of anything else. Like maybe you know, cranberries might be interesting in this. So, let me know what you dabble in the kitchen. Have a good one, bye. I rushed into that. Have a good one, guys. Bye.